Hello, everyone. So recently, I saw this viral video on LinkedIn about someone just interviewing with a recruiter, and the recruiter was basically an AI bot. And I thought to myself, well, if companies are using AI bots to interview candidates, well, candidates should be able to use AI bots to then talk to the company's AI. Let me show you what I mean. If you're ready, I'd love to hear about your professional journey and any specific experiences or skills you'd like to highlight. Oh, wow. Um, thank you for creating such a welcoming space. I'm really excited to share my professional journey with you. So I've been on this amazing adventure as a data scientist for about five years now. I kicked off my career at Insight Partners as a junior data scientist where um, I learned a lot about data exploration and how to effectively communicate insights through visualization. Thank you for sharing that. It's great to hear about your journey as a data scientist. Your experience at Insight Partners sounds like a valuable foundation. Could you tell me more about a specific project you worked on during your time there? What were some of the challenges you faced and how did you overcome them? Additionally, how did you ensure that your insights were communicated effectively through visualization? Oh, absolutely. I'm thrilled to share more about my time at Insight Partners. Um, one specific project that stands out is when I was tasked with analyzing customer data to identify key trends and insights that could help improve our clients' marketing strategies. One of the biggest challenges um, was dealing with incomplete data sets. Okay, so the AI bot does take a while to respond. Maybe about four to five seconds sometimes, especially if the question is going to be a lot longer. Now, here's the thing. All of these things are customizable. If we wanted to get higher latency, we could do that. We could end up using a much smaller model, meaning that our responses might not be as accurate, but they're a lot faster. We could also completely eliminate the voice clone when that also adds maybe about a second of latency. And if we were to take that out, again, we are shortening the time that it's taking to respond by another second. So there are a lot of ways in which we can modify this. Obviously, we're still not at that stage where this AI clone can completely replace us uh, when it's talking to a recruiter, but I feel like it does do a pretty good job when it has to talk to another AI recruiter. So the way that I essentially set everything up is pretty much through Open Web UI. If you don't know what that is, I have added a card. Just click on that. It'll show you exactly what Open Web UI is, how you can set it up. Basically, it's a free private alternative to ChatGPT. It only uses the resources off your computer, meaning that you can download any large language model directly onto your computer and then get a response, as long as you have the com computational resources. Now, within here, the first thing that I did was I went to my workspace and I created my own model. Now here, I call it the interviewing bot. And the system prompt that I said was, you respond like a candidate giving an interview. I gave it its name and I also attached its resume. So the way that I gave it its resume is in the knowledge base, you can create a new knowledge base. And here I created one for John Smith's resume. So this is what John Smith's resume looks like. All of the things that John Smith has done, um, all of John Smith's skills in Matplotlib, Seaborn, libraries, all of those things. I also have a tell me more about yourself document. So this is pretty much how I want the bot to respond when they're asked to tell me more about themselves. So basically, if you wanted to, you could create an entire knowledge base of all of the things in your resume, as well as all of the things uh, that you want the bot to respond in a particular way based on any behavioral questions or something like that. Now in my models, again, if I take a look, so the interviewing bot has all of my different information about uh, the resumes, the behavioral questions, any projects that I worked on, any papers that I've written. The other thing that I added was a base model. Now here, the base model that I chose was the GPT-40 Mini, and I used that through the OpenAI API. But if you just wanted to use a local model that was downloaded to your computer, you could do that. So in my case, I could have also selected the Llama 3.2 model 
And this is basically using the resources of only my computer and nothing else. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I set it up. Once I did that, I could just save an update. And if you want to know how I set up my voice clone, I have added another video on that, but basically in admin panel, you can go to settings and then audio. And then in the audio, you have an API to 11 labs. This obviously is something I'm going to have to delete immediately after this video is done. But the voice that I've selected is my voice that I've cloned on 11 labs and the text to speech model that I've selected was 11 labs turbo. Now I know it can be a little bit overwhelming with all of this knowledge that I've shared right now. The, here are the steps that I would recommend. First, watch the video on open web UI. If you don't know what that is next, watch the video on how to, you can set up open web UI and Olama. Then watch the video on how you can set up an API with 11 labs. And once you have these three videos, you should be in a good spot to come back to this and set everything up. Also, I know that I did cut off a significant part of the interview. Um, if you wanted to see a full uncut interview with an AI recruiter and also see how our bot can respond, then please leave a comment in the comment section that you'd like to see this. And I can definitely make an entire video from start to end and see how that entire interview would go. If you found this video interesting, then please like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help the channel out, and I would really appreciate it. And uh, with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.